the war tales. Hey, what's up guys? Otto here with another War Tales game breaking exploit. This one is going to be for infinite crowns, essentially. Um, this was pointed out to me by Nils Pills, a viewer of the channel. So big thanks to him for pointing this out. Though I would say uh, many of you have probably kind of figured this out on your own uh, because it is fairly simple uh, to, uh, to, to do. First thing you're going to want is a fair bit of food, a decent food supply on hand because you'll be wanting to stay in town for a few days. So at least three or four days of food. But if you want to do this multiple times, you'll need a lot more food. And the thing is, if you've got a, um, a troop as large as, um, as mine, you'll run into the problem of, of running out, out of food. So you'll have to basically um, go from town to town in order to be able to achieve this. You won't be able to do it multiple times in, in one town, but I mean, it's easy enough to go uh, from town to town. But anyway, let's uh, get right into it. Uh, the second thing you're going to need is some valuable items, or at least some relatively valuable items. Now, you can do it with pretty much, pretty much any item, but I would recommend that you Gary, do it with Gary, items take a look at my that are in the same group. So uh, we're going to be doing it with our sapphires and rubies here. We're going to sell all of our sapphires and rubies to kick things off. I think probably the optimum item to do it would be like a high end, couple of high end weapons that you've uh, that you've forged and just uh, keep them all in the same in the same group. The, the reason why you want to keep them in the same group is because we're going to steal these guys. And then that way we can steal them all. Once you pass 500, you won't be able to steal anything without getting caught, basically. And then the next thing, the next phase, is to go into our camp. We'll put our items into the camp chest. And it's important now with this high suspicion rate, if we get caught by the cops, or the, uh, the guard, I guess, as they're known, uh, with the stolen goods on us, the fine is going to be extortionate. So what we want to do is we want to camp here until the fine is removed. So that's uh, exactly what we're going to do. And the reason why we want... Um, the reason why we want, only want a couple of items is because it should theoretically take less time to launder these goods so we'll have to we won't have to encamp as many times to launder the goods if we um we have less items with two items it should take you anywhere between two and four rests uh, we'll rest again but this is why you want a lot of food is because you have to uh, just sit here and chill out uh you're perfectly safe sitting in the town you don't have to worry about the guard Rest again. See if we got lucky here. Uh, no, we're going to have to rest another time. But, uh, yeah, with, uh, with such a large group that I've got here... <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, the issue that I've been running into is running out of food. Um... We'll have to pay our companions. That's okay. We're, you know, still going to be running a profit here. I mean, this would be really easy to do with a small group where you don't have to, as much food. You don't have to pay as many crowns. And you could really build up your cash quite fast. Uh, so, oh man. Oh, we got a little bit unlucky with this one. We're going to have to rest one more time. But, yeah, if you're lucky, you can get it done in, in uh, three rests. Usually, but we are uh, running a little low on food, but we should be we should be fine. I mean, the best I've done is two rests, and there we go. They have finally been laundered. Now, if we leave the city and encounter the guards, don't seem interested in us. <laughs> 
There we go. You are wanted for a number of crimes. We want All right. to pay, you go until to you pay the, the you fine. Own. It's forty gold. We just made I'm just doing the job. a couple of grand off of this, and um, we only have to pay forty gold. I think this fine depends on which province you're in. I think if you're in uh, Storm, uh, Stromcap, or, or Tiltran province, I think it's only twenty gold. But uh, I guess here, Thank for whatever for reason, it's forty gold. But uh, we pay the forty gold. Suspicion is gone, and then we can just go back and rinse and repeat, basically. But, uh, yeah, here I would want to probably stock up on food again before uh, before I give it another, another go. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Come, come. Sell your goods, steal ways. them, launder them, and sell them again, and you've pretty much got infinite cash. So, um, yeah, like I was saying, I think it's probably optimal if you had some high level weapons um just because you could get like a whole bunch of those in in one group and then and then sell them for a higher price because these only sell for 20 gold uh you're gonna have to do a lot of clicking to get those sold but anyway guys there you go another game breaking exploit for you have fun enjoy spending those crowns and have a great day